Hey, welcome to River City Live. It's a beautiful day, so we decided let's start things out out here, right? Let's take it all outside, and we're going to kick off the River City Current with a big story that has really affected my household as both a University of Florida graduate and with a son getting ready to go off to college and sending out those applications. I'm sure you were as shocked as we were to hear about the University of Florida FSU merger. We take it now to the uh, Chancellor of University of Florida for word on that. Where it really needs to be more about Florida versus the rest of the world and not so much about Gainesville versus Tallahassee. <laughs> Obviously, an April Fool's joke, a great one because it was on the University of Florida home Facebook page. Right. So you gotta love it when those <laughs> folks in authority actually get in on the act and, and you're like, they wouldn't, would they? Would if they, they were to merger, I wonder if that'd be lower cost for tuition, so maybe you'd be for that. Maybe? Uh, no? I, it, it, it <laughs> I know there's be. a big rival, but still. It, it, it might be. I mean, y'all at Florida State would be lucky. <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, okay. We can, we, can, we can move along from All that. right. So obviously today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, and we have a little breakdown of the history. Believe it or not, it's actually centuries, years old. So hundreds oh, yeah? and hundreds of years. <laughs> and what people think is that it started back in 1582 when France, they changed calendars from the Julian to the Gregorian. And instead of April 1st being the new year, it was actually January. They were late to adopt it, so the joke was kind of on them. So that's where everybody thinks that it started. And then in the ah. 1700s, everybody throughout Europe started to pick it up and now it became to what it is now, April Fool's Day. And we actually have here, these are probably the top three classic April Fool's jokes that were ever pulled off. So the first one was back in 1957 by the BBC, and basically they have this video, and they show that people were growing spaghetti crops, ah, harvesting yes. spaghetti out in the field. Thousands and thousands of people actually called into the BBC to ask, where is this? This is amazing. Where we didn't know about that. Where is spaghetti tree farm? Yeah, exactly. Sign me up for spaghetti trees. All right. The second one, back in 1996, Taco Bell, they announced that they wanted to buy the Liberty Bell mm -hmm. and rename it Taco Bell. And then there you could see the actual ad that was in the paper. Obviously, people were extremely mad about this. Like, you can't do that. Taco Bell's like, yes, we can. And then obviously, it was a joke. And last but not least, Burger King, they decided to get into the action with the Whopper. They posted this ad, and this ad was for left-handed people. It was a Whopper for left-handed people. People were coming into the stores and actually ordering the Whopper uh, for left hands. Well, this morning, you know, when I got up, I was checking my Twitter page, and I noticed that John Stamos was trending, and people were all up in arms like, why is John Stamos all over Netflix? Because what happened was at midnight, Netflix actually unveiled this trailer for John Stamos, a human being. And then <laughs> uh, in every single category, it was giving you your options. But it would say, like, John Stamos has chosen these movies for you. Everybody, he was all over the place. And people were, like, seriously forgetting because it was still midnight. Sure. That it was April Fool's Day. And really getting mad at John Stamos. And poor John Stamos was just trying to go along with the gag. So Netflix just is trying to have fun. Things. Right? Yeah, so be on the lookout today. So lots of John Stamos. Now, yesterday we actually showed you uh, some tips and tricks for April Fools. We wanted to show it again a couple times. So the first one that we did was the sink spray. And we have a little video of that showing the sink spray. That's, and that, that's a classic. Him. That's perfect to, mm -hmm. to get the little kids at home to trick them. So this is great. This is just <laughs> Our producer Justin, and and he uh, yeah. uh, he that's poor Mrs. Justin, uh, and Mrs. Elizabeth Justin. takes the brunt of his fooling. And when when you get tricked by Justin, you've been justified. So <laughs> yeah, so there you see the spider uh, when someone got justified. Yeah, the spider's a classic one too. You just you hang it on. I think he used fishing fishing string yeah. to do it. And then it's and then it just kind of dropped down. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas at home. Send them to our Facebook page or you know, share them all together. River City Absolutely. Live TV. We love, we good love to hear it. Ranking success stories. All right, and, and finally, we want to talk to you about something that is very, very <laughs> important to us. It's body language. And That's what right. It says and about you can break it, it down. And so there, there are some tips here. And the first one is called the flooding smile. And what it means is that if you're going to meet somebody, don't just come in with a smile. What you want to do is you want to kind of pause, give them a gaze and then smile. It's more genuine that way. I think that probably looked creepy. It is creepy. I can creepy. work on it. Wait, oh, so, it is, say, what is it called again? The, the flooding smile. So like, let's just say if you're a person, okay. you're like, <laughs> so that's one. All right, what else you got for us? Oh, they get better. Uh, this is the big baby pivot. Now, I like this one. And basically okay. what it's saying is if you see somebody, put your whole body in front of them. Hey, come here. You know, so, so you want to address them. Yeah, so exactly. Talking. So don't just cheat. 
Like, you want to get in there. Hey, hey what's, what's up, up buddy? Yeah. I like All that. Right. All right. Um, limit the fidget. So don't keep moving, especially by your face. It just, it just looks weird, you know? So limit the like fidget. Like this, like I do all the time, like talking, you're, you're doing that. They think. And these are ways to make people like you more. So then, and then the hello old friend. Yeah, so act like it's an old friend. Like, no matter what. Ready? I'm going to walk into this one. Hello, hey. old friend. Even if it's not an old friend, you're kind of like selling that. How are you? It makes you. Feel good. Yes. You. Gosh, it's good to see you. <laughs> You old friend, you. God, all, all right. the shenanigans well, we used to pull off. Let's utilize some of these tricks and meet a new friend right now because right. we're about to meet Jasmine. I was going to help you out and take this away. Exactly. All right. Jasmine Hi. is with Monarch, and uh, you guys are going to do some free dance or some very, very inexpensive dance lessons mm -hmm. out here at Unity Plaza. Yeah, right here at Unity Plaza. Yeah. It's every Friday. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the topic is going to be swing dancing for this month. For the month, yes. For all every of month April. it's a different dance. And then Jasmine, what's your background? How did you get into dance? I've been dancing since third grade. I Me too. Grew... Me too. <laughs> I Not grew up... good, oh, but okay. I've been dancing. <laughs> I grew up doing ballet, tap jazz, hip hop. Um, I was introduced to a lot of different dances like Irish dancing, break dancing, a lot of things. But after I graduated high school, I moved to um, Louisville, Kentucky for a year to visit my dad and was introduced to salsa dancing and that's what I fell in love with. So that's your favorite. But we are going to be doing swing today and tonight. So if yeah. somebody wants to take a dance lesson at Unity Plaza tonight, can they just show up and then sign up? We were up trying then? to get them signed up ahead of time so okay. that I wasn't rushing at last minute. Oh, but right. if so, yes, come on up. All, All right. right. And, and then what does a class look like then? So what happens? Uh, well, we try to have the guys line up on one side, girls line up on one side. I'll like break it. down the guys' <laughs> part first. Then I'll break down the girls' part. I'll show you how to hold. And then we start with the basics. Okay. So do you want to show us the basics? Sure. Just you could walk us through. How sure. do you want to do this? All yeah. right. So um, why don't you go ahead and like face each other. And if you could spread apart just a little so I can show you. Okay. okay. So you're going to do start with a triple step. Okay. You're going to start with the left foot. You're going to start with the right foot. All okay. right. Always. Do okay. you know why women start with the right foot? I have no idea. Women are always right. Ooh. Yeah, girl. Okay. What else? <laughs> All right. So left foot, you're going to do a triple this way. Right foot for you. So you're going to go. Side together, side, then okay. you're gonna go back that way. Side together, side, then you're gonna rock step back. Left foot, right foot. Back. Oh, I go back. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And that's it. And then Try you start back this way. Alright. Side, side together, together, side. And that way. Side, side together, together, side. Rock step back. Right. Nope, back. Back. You both go back. We both go back. Back, back. back. away from each other. Oh, okay. And is this like one of these deals? Oh. We'll be in hold, yes. Well, okay. okay, how do we do the hold here? So first, you want to lift this arm. Uh -huh. You're going to have your fingers together. You're going to okay. come up under Whoa. here. Where you All right. And actually, in swing dancing, this hold is low. Oh. You're going to have your hand open here. Oh, oh mine's not And then it'll be the same. Ready? Okay. okay. Oh, sorry. This way. We can't even get that right. Okay, we are in trouble. We are in big trouble. Okay, ready? So uh -huh. side, side together, side. side. Side together, side, and then rock. I go back, right? And then, is there a turn? Sure. In there? There's always a turn. <laughs> always a turn. Go around the other way. I bet if you and were doing this, go ahead. I got you. Jump. Get on here. I got you. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A little practice wouldn't help. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Okay. So tonight, folks can do that. You probably won't Start go straight seven. into the loops. Seven o'clock, right here. Yeah. Unity so if you could try to get here at six thirty. And where do people go online to get registered? Uh, we can, well, you can go to monarchballroomdance.com okay. to get information, but if you want to get registered, I would like to just give my phone number. You can just contact me directly. Absolutely. It's 904-349-4103. Not a good idea to do that on TV, but hey, that's all right. <laughs> it's right. We'll be back. on Facebook. <laughs> right after this. Thank you.